Taking the engine off the Grouston today, guys. <sighs> it's been a long journey since I got this thing. Got most of the stuff off and got the rusted muffler off. And the piece that holds it. And I got this stupid thing that mounts right here off. Got the piece that mounts right here that holds this, the fuel pump up on. I got the starter disconnected. I got this disconnected. The headlight piece. And right now, I am waiting for my dad to get out. He's going to be coming out helping me finish this. So, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, right, guys, we're back. We're about to drain the gas. He has to get needle pliers to drain it into our gas can so we can use the gas so yeah he's got the pliers about to drain it into this I should get this off alright someone's having a party back there It's just gonna like spew right out of there as soon as you do that. Doesn't gas like eat away pavement and such? It has been known to. Alright. So we should definitely avoid getting gasoline on the driveway. You're probably going to do that and gas is just going to start spewing out of there. No. Like it did that time you got in your eye, which hurts really bad. I've gotten gasoline in my eye and it doesn't feel too pleasant. Oh, is that is it dripping gas? Oh yeah, this whole line is junk. Uh, I'm gonna have to show you guys that right now. I'll show you guys right there right now. The ethanol in the gas completely chewed up this line. That's all cracked. Remember all the gas that came out of it when we ran it, Dad? Yes. That was unbelievable. Can you hold this? Yeah, I got it. No, you need to be over on the other side. Oh, alright, I'll come around. Alright. That's, oh yeah, it's dripping all gasoline right there. Good idea get, to get a rag. I thought I thought I did over here, but I guess I didn't. Because I used one to clean some dirt off of a spot so I could take it off. Ugh. There you go. Some dripped on the driveway, but it's like one spot, so I'm not that worried about it. I wonder if we could get any money off using that disgusted fuel line. Is that yellow stuff the ethanol? No, it's the color they give the fuel. Uh. Uh, as you guys can see, it's stuffed with a rat nest, so. or some kind of nest. I don't really know if it's a rat nest, but it's probably a rat nest. I still can't believe that that fuel line is that destroyed. I still can't believe the, the tractor didn't caught on fire when Scott tried to mow his lawn with this blown engine. Yeah, the guy we bought it from, we mowed his lawn. He uh, had a pool party, so he mowed the yard with this, and all the gas must have drained on the, on the uh, muffler. I'm surprised it didn't start burning. It probably would have if you... We do. 
There was a few ants up here, and I was taking this thing off. There's an ant's nest in here. Look at them. Oh, gee, that's gonna be great. It's gonna be pretty good, I can tell. Ah, jeez. The nut that you put, you should have put the nut right back on the starter. Oh, the, I put I put all the nuts in this cup holder. It's one of these. Shoot. Uh, I'll, I'll, when we get the new engine and I make a video of that, I'll just take some time and try to find it until it goes in. Alright, here's what you're going to need to do next. You need to take all these out. Like and this one, those and this one, and this one. So basically, to take so the shroud you get off. The cover off. So I can get the shroud off. Do I have to take the screen off to get the cover off? No. No? It'll just slip right out. Oh, no, no, you will have to take this guy off. Yeah. Thought so. Remember, you taking like ten, five minutes to get this stupid cover back on. Oh yeah, there's the ants. She pre-filled too. Oh yeah, all that. There's definitely something in here. Something unwanted. Friend. Alright, so yeah, you want to take this off next. Alright, I'll get the. Well, the socket. Will a socket work or do I need some kind of pliers? Yeah, you should be able to do it with the socket. Alright, I'll get the. I probably have to use the smallest one that is here, which would probably be. This one, but I'm gonna have to get socket switches up here. That one more, that's it. Alrighty, let's put these on seat. Takes a little pushing. I figured that out. Oops, it's too big. It's too big. Alright. Uh, try three eighths. Oh, you have one? Ah, uh, okay. You have to do a little math here as well. That's too small. Try this. I was using the, um, the, the socket the other day. Uh -oh. oh, not the other day. Like right now. And it slipped and it hit me right in the kneecap and it hurt. Too small again. All right. So what's what's that number? Nine sixteenths. Three eighths. Oh, there you guys go. There's some background music. They should not have music that loud for a party. But what are you gonna do? Isn't that Dave? It might be. But I don't know why Jay would have music that loud. Oh. The cover will come off if they're loose. I have a feeling we're going to take this cover off and a rat is just going to jump out. I, I've seen a guy take a car wear off of an old SS-16 of a Sears and there was a rat nest in it. And the rat just came jumping out and it was, it's been living in the car for who knows how long. I tested it earlier and the solenoid works. Alright, I'll see you guys back when we get the cover off. Alright, so we got most of it off. We're about to get the screen off. We're gonna lift the gonna lift the shroud and see if everything's 
toaster under there. My dad has a nut driver tool. We're about to take this off. How many do you have? Like six? No, I'm a small enough one. That one might that yeah. It's too big. It's too big. Uh, all right. Well, I'll see you guys when he has the right size. Found the right size, so we'll see. Yeah, I was stupid. I put everything in the cup holder. I'm gonna have to. It's gonna be a while when we get the new engine for me to find everything to put it back on. Jeez. Jeez. Ugh. It's almost off. Alright. Got it. That big spider web. So you are able to run your tractor with the uh, screen off. Never thought about it. And I, the worst that could happen, you drop something in and it could get shredded with these. Yeah, your fingers. Your fingers, your hand. Acorn. Alright, what do we find under the shroud? Stuffed with rat nesting. Oh, a bunch of crap. Look at all, a bunch of crap around the starter gear. Look at that. The thing that stinks is this is all wrapped around the gear now. That's great. There you go. Don't worry about it when you get it out of it. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a ton of crap in here. So much disgustingness and acorns and trash. I still can't believe the starter actually kicked it over with that wrapped around it. <laughs> oh boy. about to take the disgustingly bad destroyed fuel line off. Shiniest thing on the motor. Oh yeah, right there. I, I bet you that gets wet with gas every once in a while when you run it. So I guess next we'll keep these fuel line pieces in case we have to duplicate because we're gonna get a new fuel pump. I'll get one from work. Yeah. Oh. That's. I bet you there's most of that's rat poop and disgustingness. That's a, that's a lot of crud. I'm gonna junk around this and. I bet you some of these parts are salvageable. A few of them. Maybe you can take them into work and your work can use them as like scrap parts if they do if they do that at your job. I wonder if that spark plug 
produce a spark because the other one's missing. But didn't you take that off and put it like on the snow blower or something? Model and serial number on video in case you lose the picture you have of it and I don't lose the video. Alright, guys, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna finish off this video. There will be a part two to this probably tomorrow, so I'll see you guys later.